Hey guys, it's Carrie Lynn and Lauren here for SheSaved.com and we wanted to share with you our thoughts on the GoTrax Hoverfly Eco. We have been trying this out, I should say Lauren has been trying this out um, for about two months now, actually both um, she and her brother and they've both gotten pretty good at this thing. Um, we're pretty impressed, aren't we? Um, I will admit that I was a little bit skeptical about it. Um, but boy, they just cruise around on this thing like crazy and it's been, uh, very durable, seems really well made and, um, they've used it a lot and it's held up. Um, it holds a charge really nicely, doesn't it? Um, so on that note, um, we were going to show you some of our favorite tips and tricks in case you're interested in trying out the go tracks yourself. So probably one of the hardest things is getting on, right? Okay, so she's figured that out as well. So we're going to share with you how she does that. Um, do you want to tell us um, how you figured out how the easiest way to get on? Yeah, so it's easy to, it's really easy to fall off when you have your feet exactly in the center right here. So I start off with my foot closer to the middle and then put this foot on the side right here. and then put that foot against the other side. But you wanna do it quick so you don't fall. Okay, and then once she gets on, that's the crazy thing to me is that um, she seems to be able to kinda navigate her way around really easy, like crazy. So explain to us kinda how it works. Okay, um, so if you wanna go forward, then you mostly put all the weight onto your toes and just push in that direction and that'll go you get to get you forward. Okay, and then what if you want to go backwards? Backwards, you put all the way onto your heels and push that way. Okay, let's see. So then you, you go back and forth between your feet to go right and left? Yeah, Um. so when you go, if you want to go left, you put, you move in this direction and kind of just put all that weight on the side of your foot into the direction that you want to go. And to practice that, you can slowly try to spin around. Then if you want to go right, then you do the exact same thing, except put all the weight on the other side of the foot. Also, if you, for a beginner, and you want to try to get moving, then you can do it in a tinier space, just practicing going forward and backwards. Okay. Now go backward a little bit for me. Very cool. Okay, show us some other tricks. Okay, um, so some easy tricks that you can do on the hoverboard is some of them I made up. And so what I like to do, I like to put my feet right here and then just spin around. But you want to be careful not to go too fast or else you can fall and injure yourself. Okay. So just start off going really slow. Okay. Very good. Okay. What else you got? Um, you can also get off and go this way, and then put your feet on the other one, and then lean in the direction that you'd want to go in, and this one, I don't really have a name for it, <laughs> but, but yeah, you just lean in the direction that you'd want to go in, and you can just spin around. Very cool. We've literally, um, my two kids have spent hours and hours in the driveway just playing with this yeah, thing, right? It only took about five minutes to learn how to do it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be really hard, but it's really not. It's it, really easy. That's good to know. And and really, you've just been pretty much in the driveway just having a blast with it. Yeah. So, very cool. Okay, well, there is our look at this thing, and I will provide links and um, even some coupon codes because they run some pretty good deals on this from time to time. And um, there you go. You can leave any questions and we'll try to answer. Give you a look at this one more time. It's the Go Tracks Hoverfly Eco. This is Carrie Lynn and Lauren for SheSaved.com.